I want to talk about that Alex Jones trial happening in Connecticut. Oh my God. If you try to silence Alex Jones in this case, you'll be asking Big Oil to silence Greta Thunberg and her concerns about climate change. Don't fall for the political Your narrative here. You object to the continuing Sus suggestion that... Sustained. Thank you. Continue, Attorney Pattis. Alex will testify. He will tell you that he's apologized. He will tell you that he's grown weary of the expense and time this litigation has consumed. You'll see a video of him of erupting on air. So frustrated, he's beside himself. I killed the children. I killed them. I went into the school. Bam, 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 bam. Shot each one of them. Yep, that's right. When I go out on the street, people forget Adam Lanza was the killer. And they think it's me. The judge has already had to reprimand Alex Jones for hiding evidence. I mean, you know. Surprise, surprise, surprise. He's a piece of shit. He made a scapegoat of Alex Jones, a whipping boy. All that these parents have suffered does not transform them into oracles that let them determine what you should and should not be able to hear, do, and say. First they came for Alex Jones. Who's next? Mr. Jones, that the plaintiffs in this case exaggerate the harm that he caused to him, uh, or that he caused them, and they exaggerated for political reasons. This stunningly cavalier attitude with respect to their discovery obligations is what led to the default in the first place. The defendants have consistently engaged in dilatory and obstructive discovery practices from the inception of these cases right through to the trial. And finally, I will note that is, there is no notice in this file to this minute of any supplemental compliance producing the Google Analytic documents, which is required by the practice book, but was also required by my clear court order of September 30, 2021, which apparently was not followed. For these reasons and the court hereby sanctions the defendants by precluding them from presenting evidence or argument that they did not profit from the Sandy Hook coverage. If there are issues, uh, further issues, then renew your request, and I would be inclined to do so right in the midst of the witness. And I am going to deal with uh, Mr. Jones when he testifies. Uh, That's understood. Um, I, I do expect, as I discussed, Attorney Pat Pattis, and I thought you were on board with it, I expected to canvass him on the issues that um, that were off limits. The law of the case is not complicated, but I do think the court is, uh, we would not object to a case. Right. And I did tell you that um, if there are issues, I will address contempt on the spot. Well, I mean, that, I don't well, have any Attorney reason. Pattis, I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm telling you now, um, I believe you said the last time that you can't remember your exact words, that, but something along the lines, I thought, that you weren't going to be able to control what he said. Not a bully. A bully will never stop himself. And when it comes to stopping Alex Jones, that will be the most important work that you do here. And we're all here because of him, one man, Alex Jones. I'm going to be displaying some slides here throughout the presentation. This is Alex Jones, and this is his company, InfoWars. We'll be referring to it as InfoWars throughout the case, but it's free speech systems. They're the same thing. We're not here to make political statements, to reform the world, to take a stand against extreme speech. This trial is not a cultural moment. It's not even about stopping Alex Jones. I was stunned to hear my adversary's opening statement. The judge told you why we're here. Hearing and damages. Liability has been determined. What can they prove, given what's reasonable? We went 15 minutes into the closing argument and heard a wholesale attack on Alex Jones and her to decide for you, or to ask you to decide for the millions of fools, the millions of deplorables, the millions of mega Republicans what people can and can't watch in this country because they transformed the hearing and damages. They transformed money into a political weapon of destruction. destruction. Uh, what uh, I expect when Alex Jones comes up here, he's going to violate the court's orders. I expect that. I do not expect Attorney Pattis in his opening to try and unwind the default 
by repeatedly stating and suggesting that Alex Jones was just questioning, are we going to are we going to silence the crazy person in the town square for just he was doing it by referring to the other events that Alex Jones has questioned. The jury is going to be instructed that Alex Jones intended these statements, knowing that they were false. And so we need a curative instruction at the outset, because what Attorney Pattis has done has injected not only politics, but he's injected this idea that Alex Jones was merely questioning when the jury is going to be instructed in the courts to determine that he intentionally inflicted emotional distress, that he intentionally lied, that he acted with malice. My God, it's going to be a crazy one, yet again. And now a million times. Is there some... Um, you've told me I can't ask about Megan Kelly. I'm not going to. What's... I would... I'm not going to. Okay, I understand. Well, you're... Of course you're not. Well, I mean, so I'm, I don't... So I'm not going to give... Well, we, we did the Hillary Clinton. Now we did the Megan Kelly. Should we address what's coming next? No. Well, I think it might make sense. Judge, there's, I, I, I'm, not, it's, I'm not responsible for giving my adversaries a preview of what's to come any more than apparently they were responsible for telling me what witnesses they were going to call today. I'm, I, I, I understand your ruling. This has been a contentious trial. I am not going to get crosshairs with you on the first day or second or 15th day of trial. I understand your ruling. I will move on. I would just say let's move on carefully. Because Understood. You're not going to have the jury jumping up and down in the old times. Okay. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Y'all take it easy.